Hi everybody, this is John Lamazdi, also known as Beer Critic. You can find my beer reviews and photos and videos on beercritic.wordpress.com. And tonight, I am enjoying the latest iteration, iteration of the uh, Yeti Imperial Stout by Great Divide Brewing Company. I love this thing. It is a uh, delicious version of an Imperial Stout, and this one is not only oak-aged, which I've enjoyed quite a few times, but also this one is espresso. Espresso. So I'm expecting some heavy-duty coffee flavor. The uh, normal oak-aged Yeti is a silver foil capped version and right here is a beautiful little detail expression I'm gonna get some photos we can see here that this is 9.5 percent ABV and also that it's uh, March of 2009 and today it is uh, May of 2009 so nice and fresh relatively speaking check out the other side here Let's see if I can get some focus there very very nice um, at 9.5%, oh, I like that. Breakfast burrito, eggs benedict, hash browns, cheesecake, creme brulee. Sounds nice. At 9.5% uh, ABV, we can see that this is about. 270 or 290 calories per 12 ounces uh, on, on average. I'm going to have to take a look at Bob Skilnick's book to find out what he has to say about Great Divide. But this bottle here, which is a bomber at about 22 fluid ounces, right? 22. One point six fluid ounces, twenty two fluid ounces is a um, almost two twelve ounce serving, so I'm imagining that this will be about six hundred calories for this brew. I am going to use this dun, dun, dun. this uh, huge, huge I can fit my whole hand, my whole fist inside this. <laughs> This glass that I found, um, this huge snifter, and uh, definitely one of my favorite glasses, because you can basically take the entire 22 ounce brew and put it in there, and I'm going to do no less than that. Okay, here we go. Beautiful, dark, syrupy looking brew. I'm going to see if I can actually get this entire pour in here. Nice, thick, deep brown tan head. I'm going to just make sure that there's nothing on the bottom there. That is amazing. Definitely no transparency or translucency there. 
Let's see if I can get a nice remote shot. that huge class. That head is phenomenal. Really, really nice looking. Let me move this back a little bit. Now, let's taste. <laughs> yeah, like I said, that is a huge snifter. But what I really like about it is that you can really get your head like all the way in there. And that is a lot of coffee, a lot of coffee scent. How nicely that head sticks to the side. I imagine there's going to be a lot of sugar. Definitely amazing legs. I mean, it really stands up. And it leaves a nice uh, sort of trail on the glass. You can see right there how nicely that stands. <laughs> Lots of coffee. That really would be good with a uh, breakfast burrito or something like it. Let's give it a taste. Oh, man. The uh, scent does not contain the oak. The flavor definitely contains the oak. It is um, amazing how much oaky, woody flavor is in that brew. Then the coffee comes and the espresso notes and a lot of wood, a lot of dust, a lot of a little bit of mulch. It immediately dries out. You can taste all that roasted malt flavor. It's almost like I took a uh, mouthful of roasted malt and just sort of chewed on it. A really complex, definitely layered flavor. Alcohol is really well hidden. It is delicious. It's remarkable. Um, I expected nothing less from Great Divide. They do a fantastic job with uh, every brew I've ever had by them. But their Yeti has been really special uh, for me. They also have a barley wine that is uh, delicious and really stays true to the style. I'm going to enjoy this quite a bit. If you can find it, get it. Thanks. This has been John Lamazny. I'm Beer Critic at beercritic.wordpress.com. Uh, that's not my email address. I'm saying that I'm Beer Critic, and my website is beercritic.wordpress.com. It's been a pleasure. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye.